Welcome back, 0k fans, to Nanolades at Dawn. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this last match of the exhibition matches will be between Google Frog and 400 on Trojan Hills. And it won't involve any gunship stars, that's a first. I mean, actually, I kind of like gunship stars, but it's not going to have them, because, you know, gunship stars are kind of cheesy. So, whatever. It's a good start, but it's not going to be used here. Google Frog going for the Shieldbot Factory, while 400 going for Spiderbot, a factory you don't see a whole lot in Trojan Hills. A bit surprising. It's actually going to be effective, I would think. But it's not when you see a huge amount on this map. I mean, granted, it's also a factory that's a bit of a handicap factor. It's it's tricky to play well. It can work. It just requires a lot of effort and a bit of a different approach than most factories. Very ambushy. Very much focused on having to scout out and then work from there rather than being able to attack directly, especially in the early game. Mid to late game, it's okay. But early game, getting that rating down, that is very difficult. And at this point... 400 just setting up fleas. Just putting the fleas in pretty common locations to set up. Making sure they know exactly what Google Frog's up to. Before Google Frog gets up to it. And Bandit plus Convict. Always a good choice. Unfortunately, the flea has been spotted, so the Bandit will go for it. I mean, will it? Well, it will. It will succeed at getting it. I was like, is it going to get it? Yeah, it's inside the decloak radius. Mo? Well, there's some more fleas up in the back. None of the plateau to the west, though. Eastern plateau, yes. Western plateau, no. But yeah, bandit convict is a really good mix because you put the bandit under the shield, and then the opponent has to deal with a bandit under a con. Like, they have to get through the convict shields, or they have to rush up to the convict. And in all that time, the bandit is dealing damage to them. It's really tough to deal with. It's doable. It's just, it's tough. It requires a bit of extra firepower. If you don't have any raiders, like spiders, doesn't then it's extremely difficult. Venoms, of course, can help because the EMP deals damage directly to shields, and, of course, the splash damage, so it also disables both of them. But it is... Without Venoms, like, I, ho I hope 400 goes for Venoms, for their sake, because they kind of need it. Against Shieldbot Factory, Venom is... Oh, they have them. Okay, good, they have one. Venom Redback, that will allow them to take care of pretty much any kind of bandit-convict mix. Pretty much with... Probably without dying. Actually. 400 is very focused on economy, though. Getting Weaver over to the plateau over to the west, and Commander in the back. Not sure where the other Weaver's gonna go. Where are its plans? It has no plans so far. It's trying to keep its life flexible. No idea what it's gonna do. But it is... It is gonna be able to do a fair amount, because it's gonna... Well, it's gonna have to, really. It's more that it's gonna have to do a fair amount, because it's Redback... This Redback and Venom is not going to be able to defend too much. I mean, that stopped a bit of Google Frog's advance, but not enough. I mean, this Weaver... The Weaver over to the Western Plateau is doing a bit. And then the Weaver to the West of that. Oof. Google Frog is advancing towards that Plateau, and it's a pretty obvious choice, too. And, of course, Google Frog taking the Eastern Plateau at the same time, or starting to... There, there is the take. So Google Frog taking that Plateau, and there's the Bandit to take... Or to destroy everything built up in the Western Plateau... And, of course, the bandit around the convict, so there's not a whole lot that can be done. And Circle Guard being used. Google Frog, the only person who uses Circle Guard, I think. Which is a bit of a shame, because Circle Guard is cool. It's just not used a whole lot. Although, it's also Google Frog is the one who actually wrote Circle Guard. So, that kind of makes sense why they're using it, because it was their feature. It's pretty cool, though. I'm pretty sure you hold Alt while holding guard, and then whatever unit you have it centered on is the unit that you're having the unit circle around. I think it's alt. Either that or alt was the one where you guard from a specific heading. Like, if you have your unit to their right, you always guard from the right. You always guard from the eastern side. And then control was circle. I don't remember exactly. This is probably why circle guard isn't used that much, now that I think about it. Anyway, Google Frog is taking most of the map, but 400 is keeping up to some extent. Not perfectly, but they are taking expansions. I mean, they're kind of taking the mirrored expansions a little bit slower than Google Frog, but they are taking them. And with a bit of reclaim as well, just to keep things going. 400, however, with a lot in storage, their main issue right now being a lack of energy, which is a common issue. But nothing is also building energy. 400 has no plans near their commander to build energy. No plans on the plateau to build energy. No, no plans, really, to build energy at all. Which is going to bite them fairly soon. They're just about accessing on metal. Google Frog as well. They're gaining metal, but they could... They could also use more energy. 
And the wind generators are maxed out right now, so that isn't really going to help either. 2.4 metal. Yeah, that's... Or energy, rather. That's pretty much max. So at this point, both players getting really low on energy. In 400... Yeah, 400 Google Frog both getting... They're almost at metal excess. And the Racketeers pushing away... How many units are here? It's like three Venoms and... That's it. That's absolutely it. Three Venoms and nothing. 400... Are they planning on going for a factory switch? I don't see anything. They just have Venoms and... Okay, now there's Recluses. Venom Recluse is... Not really a combination so much as it's just a set of units. I mean, there's the red back. The red back. The one red back. It might help. Maybe it'll get rid of these. I mean, it, at least it'll put some pressure on the racketeers, pushing them away, but really not going to do all that much, I'm afraid. that Those racketeers, not really all that threatened. So, at this point, it's really just a matter of Google Frog pushing in some units here and there. I mean, they have most of the map available to them, so they can just take whatever they'd like. And Venom over to the side. Very slowly but surely getting rid of a bandit here and there. Not doing a whole lot. The bandits in the south doing a whole lot, actually. Getting quite a bit of damage into 400. And 400 already low on energy. Losing solar plants on top of that. Like, why aren't they building energy anyway? Do they not realize they're low on energy? They Don't they see the little thing? Like, for players, this is actually bigger. Like, it's a bigger economic... Actually, I don't know which... I don't know what economic panel they use. By default, it's this. It's like this, except bigger. So they should see. You're low in energy. You're almost accessing metal. Kind of surprising that it's not, actually. I think it probably is accessing metal. It just isn't doing the flashing. But yeah, somehow they're not accessing, which is weird. But it doesn't really matter because they're running decreasing or increasingly low. Yeah, their energy supply is decreasing. The Reckless is doing what they can. Actually, to be fair... Recluse, Venom, Redback is not a bad composition against Racketeer for no other reason than if the Racketeers go for the Recluses, the Recluses don't matter because the Redback kills them. If they go for the Redback and Venom, then the Recluses just hit them from afar, finishing them off that way. But either way, the Racketeer is being way too much trouble. And Google Frog going for a Heavy Tank Factory. Going for a Reapers on top. Wow. Well, okay, I mean, that makes sense. Just push through everything. At this point, that's basically all they need to do is just run through and wipe out all that's left of whatever defenses 400 has, which isn't that much, honestly. And then... go for the kill. Like, honestly, these bandits will probably do the trick. Like, they'll get rid of 400's commander, and after that point, I think 400's probably just gonna lose everything for being naked, and then they'll probably throw in the towel, because I don't think they have any real plan after that point of not dying. I mean, some damage being dealt by the recluses, that's not bad. Not a whole lot of meaningful damage, though. Not actually killing anything. Certainly nothing that's going to kill them. Like, Google Frog just waiting. Not sure what they're waiting for, but they are just waiting to have the bandits hanging out right by the metal extractors. There we go. There's the kill move. That is going to end the game. I can't see 400 staying in this after losing all those metal extractors. Especially with the Reaper coming into the main base, finishing off the factory. That's going to be game. So, yeah. That's about it. I mean, there's... Like I said, it's kind of tough for a spider to actually do much. It, they're, they're a tricky factory to set up, and we didn't see a whole lot of Venom... Like, no real commitment to Venom Redback. A lot of economy, which kind of makes sense, but at the same time... I mean, weavers are very powerful workers. 7.5 build power. That's great. But we didn't see a huge amount of commitment to the... Econ well, I guess the economic factors, if he'd commit to. But not a whole lot to what, you, what they had for assault. Nice use of fleas, though. Against the Reaper. It is pretty much the counter unit large number of fleas, but the Reaper is going to be able to kill the factory before it goes down. And what? Nah, there it goes. There's the kill. Yeah, the Reaper is going to die. But it took out a factory with it, and 400 does not have the economy to build this up. It's really the energy that's the problem. Like, there are these Weavers. They could take the, Reaver, they could take the Reaper... Well, no, they can't actually, because the Pillager is stopping them. But yeah. Kind of sucks. Really just came down to ultimately Google Frog getting in the territory, and not a whole lot that 400 could do about it. They didn't have the units to really stop that. They didn't really have the unit count in general. Like, their unit value was never near... It. The number, number of units was never near. And, of course, their income also was close until the midway point, like, four minutes in, and then it just fell apart. So, yeah. That's how it goes. 
I am kind of surprised they went for spiders, though. I'm not totally surprised, but I am kind of surprised because really Trojan Hills, you don't gain a whole lot from being able to spider. Like, it is designed, not quite as much as Bandit Planes. Bandit Planes is specifically designed to stuff spiders. Like, spiders cannot go between these areas in Bandit Planes, the equivalent areas. Trojan Hills does not have water in between, so there's still the possibility of walking there, but it takes so long. Compared to, say, jumping across or flying across, spidering across, just going all the way down the cliff and then going all the way back up, it's it's quite long. It's really not worth it compared to going around. Like, yeah, you can do it, but you don't save much time. You don't save enough time that going spiders is going to give you a significant advantage other than what the spider factor gives you for the units it gives you. Like, if you're not going for spiders for the specific unit Spiderbot Factory builds, Trojan Hills, its map design isn't really set up to benefit spiders all that much. Which, come to think of it, is kind of weird. That is my favorite map, but it's also kind of bad for my favorite factory. Oh well. Anyhow, that's going to be it for me tonight, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night. Unless you want to play, want to watch my Battle Right stuff that I'm doing later today, then have a good night anyway, but then watch that. Which will be over the pro rival, whatever. You'll just follow my Twitter. It, I'll put it on there. Have a good night regardless.